Hey everybody, Day Really here. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Hakuoki Zoe Soroku. We are on Chikage Kazuma's route on Memories of Love Part 3. I thought it was going to be 2 and 3 in the last episode, but 2 was longer than I thought. So let's check it out. You can just sit back, relax, and let me read you a story. Yeah, if it's short, then I can add 4 to it. We shall see. Memories of Love Kazuma 3, June 1868. After arriving in Aizu and finding no sign of the Shinsengumi, the protagonist refuses to give up, which annoys Kazuma. After claiming there is other business for him to attend to, he stalks off. The protagonist follows and finds him in the burnt-out remains of a village. Hmm, what's that about? They are no different from the Tokugawa. All any of them care for is money and power. Sadly, so much of the world is like that. My father had gone down a dark path, and we had no choice but to stop him. While I knew what had to be done, my heart refused to accept it. He looked at my face, put an arm around me, and let me cry. The words he spoke were his version of comforting. I cried even more. Oh. That was when he got really sweet. With my father dead in Edo, we moved further north, following the path of the Shinsengumi. Eventually, Kazuma, Amagiri, and I reached the Aizu Domain. The tide of the war had turned in favor of the Imperial Army, however. Even Shirakawa Castle, reportedly in Shinsengumi hands, was in the possession of the Imperial Army by the time we arrived. Always a step behind. Aizu's warriors had barricaded themselves inside the Wakamatsu Castle and prepared for a siege. Were the Shinsengumi fighting alongside them? If they were, then I was determined to go to them. But the road from Shirakawa to Wakamatsu was the front line of the war. Patrols from both sides could be a constant threat. Our journey would not be an easy one. Yeah, but you got some pretty powerful demons with you. September 1868 We were closing the distance, but they were still too far away. I felt as if I could almost reach out and grab them. It was maddening. Finally, on a hot summer day, we arrived. But are we in time? Memories of Love, Part 3 September 1868 So, this is Aizu. The city had a strange, violent feel to it. I'm glad we have arrived at last, but it appears the Shinsengumi are no longer at Shirakawa Castle. Of course they aren't. The Aizu are preparing to surrender, so that leaves only the main castle. What do you intend to do now? Keep following them. Nearly six months had passed since I had separated from the Shinsengumi in Kyoto. I had followed them to Osaka, Edo, and Utsunomiya. By the time we arrived, they had already disappeared. But, no matter how fast I ran, I could never seem to catch them. A wave of sadness washed over me. I want to go to Wakamatsu Castle. I'm sorry. I think I must have misheard you. Nope. Surely you didn't just suggest we attempt to enter the last stronghold of a desperate and determined force currently engaged in a battle. Come on, you know you can do it. But the Shinsengumi might be there. You could pretty much kill everybody that gets in our way by yourself, Kazuma. Every time we just miss them, this could be my last chance. If I don't catch up to them now, I might never see them again. I bit my lip. Kazuma seemed unmoved. Let's say they are at the castle. What do you intend to do once you get there? What do you think will happen? Because if you think going there will amount to anything more than yelling, Here I am, kill me, you may want to reconsider. I, I know that I won't be able to do anything. In battle, there was nothing I could do for the Shinsengumi. I knew what he was saying was right, but... I just want to see them. I belong with the Shinsengumi. Then you wish to die a meaningless death among the rabble. I had not thought you so foolish. Very well, do as you please. He ground his teeth and glared at me. I couldn't tell if he was angry or just frustrated. I swallowed. Please, calm yourselves. You are far too agitated. You are not yourself, Kazuma, to show such anger toward a single girl. <laughs> Only because she's being a tremendous fool. Talking with her further is pointless, and I refuse to waste my time. I have other more important business to attend to. Goodbye. Fine, get out of here. He spat out the words, then spun on his heel and stalked off. I watched him go, unsure whether I should try and stop him or let him leave. It would be wise to pursue him. What? He can be moody, shall we say but he does not display such anger for no reason. 
Are you just trying to say that he was right in our argument and I was wrong? Amagiri fixed me with a meaningful gaze that I couldn't quite interpret. After a moment, he continued. Basically, he knew we're having a lover spat, <laughs> and he's trying to tell me to go after him and fix it. I understand your impatience, but you must know that you alone can never hope to reach, let alone penetrate the castle of the Aizu. Yes. There is also nothing to support your hope that the Shinsogumi are even in Wakamatsu Castle. I intend to investigate as to the whereabouts of the Shinsogumi. Perhaps you should speak with him while I do. I... thank you. I nodded in thanks. Oh, Magira, you're just so sweet. Kazuma. By the time I found him, the sun had already begun to dip toward the horizon. <laughs> didn't expect me? His eyes flicked to me for a moment, but his pace didn't change. Uh, um, where are you going? None of my business? Come along if you wish, but be silent. I will arrive at my destination soon enough. But, um, I... I wanted to try and discuss my feelings with him, but it was clear that there would be no discussion. Then he stopped and I looked up. Huh? It was strange, but the trees around us seemed welcoming, and the smell of dirt and grass was familiar. I felt at ease. We've arrived. Is this my ancestral home? I looked up at Kazuma, but his face was unreadable. He extended his hand to point at something across the clearing. Is... is that a burned-down house? The roof had long since collapsed, and all that was left of the walls was the frame jutting up from the ground like a blackened skeleton. Grass had grown up around it, but there was no mistaking the black charred pieces of debris scattered around. This is horrible! It used to be so beautiful here! Huh? That was strange. How could I have known that? What is this place? Yeah, it's definitely my childhood home. <sighs> he said nothing, only stared silently at the ruins. Then, without saying anything, he untied the sake bottle he carried at his hip, uncorked it, and poured a thin stream of liquid onto the ground at his feet. Respect. The alcohol twinkled in the moonlight as it fell. When I looked up at Kazuma's face, I saw none of the sly amusement or coldness I'd become accustomed to. There was something almost kind in his eyes, and something else. This is where demons of the East once lived. The demons of the East? Then suddenly, I realized what he meant. This is the Yukimura home. You lived here when you were a child. Where I... I looked at the ruins again. Another wave of wrenching nostalgia rolled over me, but now I understood where it came from. I love Chizuru's... I'm sorry to interrupt there, but I love Chizuru's uh, western outfit. It looks really good on her. I prefer most of the people in the Japanese clothes, but hers looks good. When I met my father, Kodo Yukimura, in Edo, Kazuma had said something that seemed strange at the time. About how my father was part of the Yukimura clan, but not directly related to me by blood. And that, in fact, all my blood relatives had been killed long ago. Kazuma, please, tell me, why did my family die? If he had bought me here, then surely he knew what fate had befallen them. He began to speak slowly, as if he was choosing each word with great care. The Satsuma, Choshu, Tosa, and other western domains wanted to wield the power of the demons against the Shogunate. They knew that the Kazuma and Shiranoi would fulfill their long-held debt, but they wanted more, the eastern demons. So, the rebels came to the Yukimura. Your clan did not feel it was appropriate for them to be involved in human arguments, and, from what I have been told, declined. Demons were powerful allies for humans, he continued, but they could be dangerous enemies as well. When the Yukimura refused, they became a threat. That's why they were destroyed? That was enough of a reason to murder my whole family? I moaned, and Kazuma turned his gaze back to the ruins. They were my answer. Do you hate humanity for killing your parents? I... Demons are not meant to involve themselves in humankind's affairs. Your clan stood by their honor and chose not to join the war. Unfortunately, human avarice brooks no resistance from the principled. I looked down and he stopped. Then, after a long moment, he began to speak. I knew this location lay along our route, 
and I intended to tell you your family's history when you were here to see it for yourself. So, now I have, and you have. Do you not loathe humanity? I... Let's see... I'm just sad. Somewhere in here, there's probably some resentment, but more than anything else, I'm just sad. Sad. Have you never been sad, Kazuma? When he had told me the fate of my mother and father, sadness was the first thing I had felt. Sadness that I had never known them, and sadness that I could not even remember their deaths. My family, how did they die? Oh, I do not know the details. All I do know is that they did not use their demon strength to repel their human assailants. Why? They must have known they would die for that choice. I can only assume that honoring their commitment was more important. <sighs> uh, I knelt and laid my hand against one of the blackened struts of the frame. As I touched this as a child, before it became part of this cold, dry ruin, why do you think some people had to fight all the time? What reason was there that we couldn't have full lives of laughter and camaraderie instead? Why were some people so obsessed with taking the lives of others? I've seen so much with the Shinsengumi. The Imperialists, the Loyalists, the Nationalists. No doubt they fought because of what they believed in, but... They should be working together to do what's best for their country. Of course they likely thought they were doing what was best. It makes me sad that they're all so busy hurting each other all the time. Me too, and that the world is still doing that. Everybody. Hmm. Sad. He didn't object, only nodded. His eyes looked peaceful, much different than what I was used to. You are correct. If we could end the fighting, that would indeed be best. There was nothing more for either of us to say to one another, and silence fell between us. Eventually, Kazuma spoke, but it seemed as if he were talking to himself. Humans are such foolish creatures. Even if the greater part of their people do not wish for war, someone always will. Yeah, that totally doesn't make sense, but that's how it is. And the people who wish for war somehow get their way. That is why demons choose to avoid them. I intend to contribute to their insanity no further, and I do not wish for you to be involved either. Kazuma, I... I didn't want to fight either. But the Shinsengumi was caught in the middle of a war. That was their choice, though. I do not think I cannot understand your impatience. You are concerned for the safety of the Shinsengumi. What? But if you really do wish to see them again, cool your head. If you leap into the maelstrom of battle unprepared, you will die in vain before you catch even a glimpse of them. I do not think that is what your parents would have wanted. You're right. I had been too impatient. Kazuma was not possessed of much in the way of social grace, but in his own way he was concerned for my safety. I nodded. All right, and thank you for worrying about me. <laughs> you assume too much. I was only growing tired of your foolishness. Then why did you bring me here to show me this? That was way too considerate for anything else. You would have had a better chance of becoming a shogun than reaching the castle alive. His normal, sarcastic tone had returned. There was a note of something approaching kindness in it now. Amagiri said pretty much the same thing. He said we should at least wait until we knew the Shinsengumi was actually there, so he asked me to stay here until he could find out. So, I guess for now I'll just wait here until he comes back. For a fraction of a second, I saw the corners of his mouth twitch up into a smile. Means more time for us together. Good. I am pleased to see you are listening to us at long last. Listening to Amagiri, at least. You would be wise to learn to listen to me. Attentiveness is a wife's most important quality. <laughs> hey, that's different. But I want it. I looked pointedly away from him, out at where my family's house had once stood. None of this had changed my goal to return to the Shinsengumi. But I would not waste my life my mother and father had given me. Good girl. I was ready to give my life if I had to, but not without careful consideration. That was the vow I made to myself, standing on the ground of a home I had never known. Yeah, I think Kazuma's chapters are a little bit long, but let's go ahead and try to squeeze this in there. It'll just be extra work for me. Memories of Love, Kazuma 4, June 1869. More than six months have passed since reaching Sendai in search of a ship to Azo. With each passing week, Kazuma's temper grows worse. Fortunately, the protagonist has learned how to deal with him. 
Uh huh. So we've got him figured out by this point. Then you wish to see what becomes of the Shinsengumi. Very well, I will go with you. After all the times he'd fought them, I felt it was only appropriate for Kazuma to see what happened to the Shinsengumi. He had agreed with a smile, and there had been something in his tone that made me think. Perhaps he had his own reasons for following them with me. Of course, I think he said so himself. At some point, if that was true, then perhaps all those battles between the Shinsengumi and the demons hadn't been in vain. I looked back at him and wondered. By the time we reached Wakamatsu Castle, the Aizu had already surrendered. We also received word that the Shinsengumi had continued north and had left from the port of Sendai on their way towards Eizo. Despite the loss of their comrades, the Shinsengumi never stopped moving. We made for Sendai immediately. Finding a civilian boat willing to ferry us to Eizo, however, was no easy task. Kazuma rented a mansion in Sendai, and we waited there for news. He rented a mansion? Man, he's got some money, huh? May 1869. The Imperial Army finally launched a full assault on Hakodate. June 1869. We continued searching for passage to Eizo, even as we looked desperately for news of the war. Man, it's taken us a long time to find a boat, apparently. But resolution was coming sooner than we realized. Memories of Love, Part 4 June, 1869 It's been half a year now. I felt a strange sense of loneliness as I watched the sunset. We had chased the Shinsengumi to Sendai, but now they were out of reach across the sea in Eizo. With the attack on Hakodate still underway, in my heart I feared the worst was coming. I hope we can catch up to them soon. Unfortunately, after a loyalist ship attacked one of the Imperial Army ships in Miyako Bay in April, it was next to impossible for a civilian to charter a ship to sail into that area. Nobody wants to go. Still, I refused to give up and instead waited for good news, either of a ship or of a resolution to the conflict. Oh, I think it's almost time for Kazuma to get back. Kazuma and Amagiri have been scouting the city for information, looking for a ship that could take us to Eizo. I was no good at information gathering, which had left me with little else to do apart from household chores. Uh, I straightened up as he walked through the door. Kazuma? I have returned. Okairi? Welcome home. How was your day? Hmm. <laughs> You're learning how to be welcoming and attentive. I approve. Well, I'm glad I can make you happy. Uh, um, I'm not sure how I feel about... I stopped halfway through as I noticed his face. Did something happen? You look upset. Hmm. <laughs> Kazuma? <laughs> no response. Ah! Talk to me! If I were to compare him to something, Kazuma in a bad mood is like an upset cat. <laughs> Don't approach him or he'll scratch you. Often, the best approach is to simply leave him alone. Did you know cat scratch fever is actually a real thing? Apparently, cats have some kind of bacteria on their claws sometimes, and when I was a child, I actually got it. My mom took me to the doctor, and they told her I had cat scratch fever. She's like, what? That's not just a song? Apparently, I'm not leaving him alone. All right, well, thanks for all your hard work. I'll have dinner ready in a bit, so just relax for now. Or did you want to take a bath first? With me? No, I'll be having some sake before dinner. Get it ready right away. Only one bottle, okay? It's not good to drink too much. He's a demon. I don't really think it makes that much difference for them. <laughs> Always the doctor's daughter. Haven't you heard sake can cure a variety of ills? Uh, I've never heard that. That being the case, the more I drink, the healthier I will be. Now, bring me three bottles at the very least. <laughs> That's a new one on me. Uh... <laughs> Jizuru is not happy about that. I refuse. Our eyes locked. Don't be so spoiled. It's only helpful if you drink in moderation. <laughs> <sighs> Staring contest. We glared at one another for several long moments, each one too stubborn to yield. Then we both spoke at exactly the same time. Fine. We will compromise with two. All right, I'll make two.
What a contest of wills. <laughs> I was starting to feel I was growing accustomed to him. When I looked up at his face, though, he seemed bitter. <sighs> How can you laugh like that? Oh, you heard me? We still cannot locate a ship willing to take us, and information on the Shinsengumi is even harder to find. You should be impatient. And you should be glad that I'm not. Maybe I'm letting it go. Well, it's not like I'm not anxious. I am worried about them. And I still want to meet up with them again as soon as I can, but... Even then... Uh... I was thankful. I'm just lucky I have you and Amagiri to help me. And not just in looking for a ship to Azo. Ever since I was separated from the Shinsengumi, they have been looking out for me. A lot better than being alone. If I'd been all by myself, I don't think I ever could have made it this far. Nope. Probably would have died. I... I was pretty scared of you at first. You are pretty intimidating. But I'm glad I met you. I bowed, but while my head was down, I muttered under my breath. Although, I do think your personality could use a little work. <laughs> Why did you have to say that out loud? Why couldn't you keep that in your head? <laughs> With my head bowed, I couldn't see his expression. But it sounded like he was laughing. You may have gone a little too far there, but I commend your attitude. You should be more honest with yourself. If you're going to be so preciously demure, I'll listen as long as you like. Oh, <laughs> See? That's what I'm talking about! But Kazuma only laughed. Ah, we're getting along. After a few moments, though, he sat up straighter, sighed, and frowned. Is everything okay? I have something I need to tell you. There's good news and bad news. Give me the bad news first. Huh? After dinner... We should eat first. Okay. The sun had gone down and the sunset had faded. Night had fallen. I was waiting for Kazuma to begin to speak. This is about transport to Azo. I've managed to get us aboard Satsuma's ship. R really? Yes. It won't depart until later. Likely sometime around August, but we will be on it. Then I can finally see them? Once we got to Azo, it would just be a short trip north and then... At last! You hope anyway, if they're still there. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you! I felt almost giddy as I looked at Kazuma. <sighs> he had gone silent and his face was stern. Kazuma? I did not think you'll be able to see them. W what Why? You just said you got a ship. We can go to Azo, but I did not think you'll be able to see them. As he repeated those words slowly and patiently, I felt icy fingers of fear begin to work their way around my heart. N no you can't- The fort at Hakodate, the last bastion of the Loyalist troops, has surrendered. Huh. <sighs> I have yet to learn the details, but from what I understand, many of their warriors were taken as prisoners of war. As for Toshi's Ohijikata and the men of the Shinsengumi- uh, I wanted to hear no more of what he had to say. I shut my eyes and turned away. But he didn't stop. Their whereabouts are still unknown. Ah. <sighs> I see. Information from a war happening across the sea was understandably difficult to come by. Perhaps, perhaps there was still hope left. Nonetheless, it had been something of a shock, and I found that it was suddenly rather difficult to breathe. As I began to crumple toward the floor, I felt arms around me. Oh. <laughs> Get up. His? Do you remember what you told me in Aizu? You said that you wished to see the fate of the Shinsengumi with me. Were those words lies? B but His words weren't kind. They were the verbal equivalent of a slap across the face. But for some reason, I felt them in my heart. If those words were not lies, then see that fate with your own eyes, bear witness to their deeds, and never forget them. Though you may have only been with them for a short time, it falls to you to commit to memory the path they chose as samurai. They do deserve it. I was the one who had asked him to bear witness with me, but now he was demanding the same of me. You owe them that much. I believe so. You're right. It was still too early to give myself over to despair. Well, we still have the ship, right? Yes. Then let's go to Azo. Let's go find the Shinsengumi. Very well. I will take you there. I made a promise, after all, and a demon always keeps his word. 
Thank you. I thanked him again, and silently steeled myself for what was to come. The long war was at an end. Whatever we found in Azo, that end undoubtedly meant that the Shinsengumi was no more. But hopefully some's still alive. So, one more video left with Kazuma, with Memories of Love Part 5 with him, in the next video. I've got some hopes for this one, please don't disappoint me, game. <laughs> oh, but it's been so nice seeing more with Kazuma after the way the, you know, they totally barely gave him anything in the original game, so... It's been really great having these with him. So hope to see you there to witness the last of Kazuma's extras here. And I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. Do really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.